Okay, um, I have here uh, an Acer ES1. Uh, um, it originally came with 32 gig um, SSD memory uh, built in, uh, but I want to um, in, uh, add uh, an additional hard disk to it. Um, so what, what I've done is um, I've managed to find um, a cable and a hard disk um, to connect to its uh, SATA port and uh, uh, I'll uh, do that now. So, yep, so here we go. Uh, yeah, so first of all I'm um, I'm going to clean it because um, obviously we are in lockdown and try and get rid of um, COVID uh, virus. So I'm going to clean the uh, laptop with uh, antibacterial wipes. Uh, so before I switch it on. Okay. Power it on. So the um, specification, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that properly, let me just focus uh, the camera. So it's a Acer Aspire uh, ES11, uh, uh, ES1132-C06L. So it comes with 4 gig memory, uh, 4 gig RAM should I say, and 32 gig um, uh, SSD um, memory that's built into the um, laptop itself. So okay, I'll just put it there. Okay, so it's uh, booted up onto the uh, um, SSD memory, but obviously it's only got um, 32 uh, gig, and most of that is used up by uh, Windows um, 10. So let's have a look at uh, that hard disk itself. So as you can see. Uh, Capacity 30 gig, well, 28 point something. Uh, and I can see that. So. Okay. So that's the uh, built in um, SSD uh, that's on it. So obviously, we're going to. Put uh, an additional hard disk in uh, and try and install Windows 98. Oh, not Windows 98, Windows 10. So let's just shut this down.
Okay. Just my tripod, so you'll be able to see me working on it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take the back off. So six screws. obviously 4 gig memory that's built in there um, I don't know if you can uh, put additional one that's only got one slot it's only got one slot okay now if you have a look at the uh, how thin this hard disk is um, I think this would probably be But uh, uh, for instance, this uh, hard disk here um, would be too uh, too thick to fit in this compartment. So you need you need a reasonably thin hard disk. Now the one that I'm using uh, is actually a uh, what make is this? Is it touchy? Mm, yeah, could be touchy. Not actually see what it is. Uh, HGST. We'll have a look at that later. So, yeah. Uh, just plug it in to this port here. That's it. And route the uh, cable. Yeah. Now I had to cut a little bit of plastic here um, to get the uh, cable uh, routed across. Um, and because um, that this piece is actually metallic you don't want the um, circuit board to um, short on it so I put a little piece of paper crude but it's the only thing I can find so and then put the cover back on so that and first and just clips into place just pushes it into place and just put the screws back on okay mm -hmm. two three One six. Okay. So it's time to load up Windows. Uh, we've got to boot from uh, a USB stick. So let's plug that into the USB slot. 
and we are now going to set the boot parameters which um, obviously we're going to boot off the USB drive but when it restarts uh, we've got to boot off the hard disk so we have to set uh, the boot priority in the setup first so let's do that so power on and press I think it's the escape key it's one of these three keys but we'll get there I think it's the escape key that's it okay so we're just gonna set the boot priorities uh, so uh, let's just have a look at which uh, the model so yeah you've got your first disk there which is uh, the um, uh, SSD drive or what they call it uh, AMMC uh, drive there which is actually 32 gig so that's the built-in one uh, we've just added this uh, this one here the HGST which is 500 gig hard drive obviously that's the serial number and so on and so forth so uh, we'll set the boot priority so at the moment so it's on Windows uh, boot manager what we're going to change it to is uh, the hard disk to boot up first and then the uh, um, the EMC um, memory drive as the second boot device and we'll just um, save the save changes yep and then in this case we're going to boot off so press F, keep tapping F12 to get the uh, boot menu up and we will boot off the USB uh, for the first time and it's not come up okay so let's do that again uh, press the power button for about five seconds to to force it to turn off and again uh, come on sure if I enabled the F12 function on it come on it's taking long Okay, so it didn't enable the uh, boot option, so we have to go back into the settings. So just turn this off again. Turn it back on. I uh, think it's the escape key to get into the uh, settings. Could be the F1 actually, but I think it's the escape key. slow it's going to be the F1 isn't it yeah it's going to be the F1 oh, please wait no. it's going to be the F1 betcha one of these three buttons uh, escape f1 or f2 it's one of these buttons 
I'm just not too sure. Don't tell me it's the wrong one again. Ugh. Should have done this in the first place. Right, it's one of these three buttons. It's gonna be the F2, isn't it? It's gonna be the F2. There you go. Right, okay, so boot menu. Uh, yeah, see, there it is. Uh, I need to enable that one. Um, can you see that? That needs to be enabled. that needs to be enabled uh, so yep now we can go back to uh, save it and press F12 so keep tapping F12 and you have a boot menu so there you have it, you now have a boot menu, and I think I'm going to put back So this time we're going to boot off the um, USB drive. Yeah. So can you see that? So we're gonna boot off that USB drive. Ooh, terrible at this focusing. Okay. off the USB drive. So we're going to follow the instructions from here. Uh, right. Moving closer. So that you'll be able to see. Okay. Alright. So we are going to select United Kingdom. As the uh, country uh, language is going to be United States. So. Okay, install. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So. Okay, just accept the uh, end user license. Um, custom, we're not going to upgrade. And um, we're going to use. Right, so we're going to um, delete the partition on the 500 gig. And that one there, which is drive 0 by the way, drive 1 is the 32 gig. Yeah. So we are deleting the partition on the uh, drive 0. Yeah. So, you, so that's the 500 gig. Yeah. Uh, the drive one is actually the um, uh, 32 gig um, uh, SSD memory that's built in. So now we're going to um, install, we'll click next on uh, drive zero and it will install uh, the Windows 10 on drive 0 which is the 500 gig that we've just uh, installed in there that we've just connected that we just put in so yeah um, it's basically as simple as that so the cable and the hard disk I got from eBay uh, quite cheaply by, 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 by the way uh, so yeah So let's just wait for that to uh, finish uh, and I'll uh, turn it on again when it's, uh, I'll just pause the video for the time being because that's going to take a while anyway, yeah. So it's about to finish um, installing, so it's um, going to be uh, restarting and configuring Windows 10. Uh, so uh, we'll go through that uh, in a bit. Yeah, so restarting the computer now. And so this time it should boot off the hard disk um, rather than the um, SSD drive or the USB. So it should boot off the hard disk that we just installed the um, Windows 10 to. So that's that's why we had to set the um, startup um, order. Yeah, so I just wait for it to uh, get the devices configured.
So obviously how fast it does this depends on um, your specification. Obviously I'm only working on a 4 gig of um, RAM. Um, and the uh, processor is, um, is it? Intel Celeron N3350. So it's not uh, a very powerful machine, so as you'd expect for a, a netbook. It's just uh, a laptop for very light use, i.e. Uh, internet browsing, uh, can't really use it for uh, gaming or anything like that. Uh, yeah, but it's mainly for light use, as I said, uh, office work, student, um, you know, university work, things like that. Nothing strenuous. Yeah. And so basically that's the way you um, add uh, an extra hard drive to um, the Acer Aspire ES11. So apart from the 32 gig um, memory, built-in memory that it has. Um, we've managed to add a second drive, um, in this case a 500 gig hard disk uh, to this uh, um, tiny laptop and netbook basically. Uh, yeah. I think the rest is just um, setting up uh, Windows 10. I think that's basically done. Hope it was uh, any help to you guys. Uh, so for so uh, for some of you that uh, may want to have a little bit more storage space. Um, at least you don't have to get rid of the laptop you just add a uh, you don't have to spend so much I think I got I only spent probably about uh, 15 quid altogether um, the hard disk I got from a, a CEX a store uh, and the uh, cable uh, and the SATA cable I got from eBay uh, for I think about less than five pounds. So yeah, it's, it's uh, not bad upgrade, especially um, if you think that a uh, cost of a new laptop is probably in the hundreds, if not two hundreds. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, cheap upgrade an additional hard disk compared to its um, 32 gig uh, memory that it uh, originally came with that's not bad yeah. I'm going to pause it there for now and continue it when um, yeah, it asked me to set up windows but uh, yeah I think it's going to take a little bit of time anyway so I'll pause the video for now. For the keyboard along the way and if you'd like me to stay quiet just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Okay If you so need an assistive screen reader press the windows control and enter keys Cortana. at the same time to turn on narrator. 
Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Huh. It's not finished setting it up yet. Silly. Your region is set to the United Kingdom. Is that right? Yeah, let's stick to United Kingdom. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? No. I'll go to the United Kingdom as well. Uh, yeah, it's United Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Nope. Skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. Uh, no, I don't. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. Yeah. How about the first uh, one on the list? No. Want to use that one? No, I don't want to connect it yet because I want to um, have Just an so offline you know, account. Connecting to a network now could save you some time later. If you want to get no, that out of the way, don't. choose yes. No. It's because if I connect it now, it's going to ask me to sign in, and I don't want to sign in. I just uh, want to have an offline um, account. And it restarts again. Okay, so let's give it a name. Um, I just like to use a laptop. Yep. Okay, now type a password for your account. Yep, don't want a password. Yes. Now choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to help you with directions, weather, and more. No. And if you ever lose your device, here's where you get to choose if you want help finding it. No. Next, choose whether or not you want to help Microsoft diagnose and fix issues. No. And if you want to help improve language recognition and suggestions for apps and services that run on Windows. Yeah, okay. If you want tips, offers and suggestions that are tailored to you, no. just select Accept. Last up for these settings, choose whether or not you want your ads to be more relevant to you. Nope. So many useless questions. Hey, look, that's me, Cortana. Mm. Can I have permission to use the info app? Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Just hurry up. Yeah, so I think uh, this is uh, basically just about finished now, so um, I'll just um, finish it off. Um, yeah, so that's basically how you um, add uh, an extra hard drive to this laptop. As I said, it's an Acer Aspire ES11, 
um, yeah just uh, just follow the instructions uh, follow the, the things that are done and you should be alright uh, yeah I hope uh, you like the video uh, yeah like it share it and uh, don't forget to see my other um, videos uh, on my channel okay thanks for watching Bye.